Hello everyone and welcome back to day three of my spring fashion edit 2022. Today is one of my favourite hauls to do of the whole week and that is and other stories. I feel like Zara and ASOS are the places where you find like the fun stuff that you need to just like jazz up your wardrobe for the new season but and other stories is where you find the classics, the forever pieces, the staples in your wardrobe. And I always say that yes the price point is a little higher with and other stories but it's actually so worth it because the quality of the pieces is so so good. The fabrics, the way they fit, um, you can really feel the difference. I'm really really happy with the outfits that I've chosen. I've got some really really gorgeous pieces to show you so don't forget that everything I show and try on will be linked down below in the description box and let's go. So guys we are starting off with this outfit which I just think is such a timeless classic outfit for spring. It's it's just perfection. It would look nice on everyone. It's easy to wear. It's not going to go out of style. Um, and it's just so, so lovely. I really love both pieces so much, especially the top. The top is so, so dreamy. I feel like I've tried on two tops like this week, one in Zara and one from ASOS in this kind of style with like the sweetheart neckline and the nice like billowy sleeves. Um, but I have to say that quality wise, um, this one is definitely like far superior to the other two. The fabric is stunning, the gorgeous billowy sleeves, it has a smocked back and a zip so it's really nice and easy to get on and off. The beautiful like ruched bodice and the sweetheart neckline, it's just so flattering, so beautifully made and you could literally wear it with endless bottoms. You could wear it with skirts, short skirts, long skirts, shorts, trousers, jeans, you could make like a simple jeans look, look much more feminine and pretty with a lovely top like this and it's just such a classic. I am obsessed with it. And the skirt is super, super lovely too. I've just like creased it a little bit just from um, crouching down. It's linen, linen creases, even like my Zimmerman shorts, you sit down in them for more than five minutes and they are creased. But linen is such a lovely fabric to wear for spring, summer um, that I don't really mind because I just feel like everyone accepts that linen creases. Um, but the skirt's really beautiful. I love the off-white stone color again. It's so versatile. You can just pair it with so many different tops. Um, and this is just, again, like a really simple, stick staple classic. That's what And Other Stories are so good at. And you just can't really go wrong with an outfit like this. It's so simple and like minimal but it's really beautiful and feminine um, and I feel so nice in it. So next I of course had to bring the pink vibes to the video with this absolutely gorgeous gorgeous dress. As you guys know I'm not usually like a big fan of long dresses so this wouldn't be like my first dress choice but it was so so pretty that I honestly I just couldn't not feature it because I know so many of you guys um will love it so much it's the prettiest color I feel like it's almost looking a bit coral on camera like a bit more on the corally side of pink whereas I think in real life it doesn't really look very corally um it's so lovely so comfortable you know just like a really lovely floaty dress I also really love the straps they're little like bow straps which I think is so so pretty I just love all the detail on the fabric as well I don't know if you guys can see but it's kind of like pleated um up here and then there's little like broidery um panels which is so so lovely and I love like the couple of tears as well on the skirt it's just so gorgeous and again I just feel like this is a classic. This is not like a trendy spring summer 22 dress that's not going to be in style next year or the year after. This is just simply a classic. Just a cute little maybe like straw basket bag and some nice like wedges like the Castagne wedges or the Kate Spade wedges from my luxury video um, would just look so beautiful with this or even flat shoes. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. Next up guys, oh my gosh, this dress. Can I just say, I feel like it's become obligatory for me to do like a Cinderella inspired look in every video now, which I absolutely love. Cinderella is just totally inspiring my fashion choices this year. Um, and this dress is literally perfection. Can you guys see what I mean when I talk about like the fit and other stories? Like they just always get it so, so 
right? Like this could not be more flattering. I like how it has this very slight sheen. It kind of gives it that princessy feel. And it's also got like a tree bark pattern on it, which you can't actually really see until you like inspect it. Um, but it's really, really pretty. It just fits like a dream. It's actually boned in the bodice as well, giving it that really beautiful structured feel. Um, and of course the sleeves are just an absolute dream. The little puff sleeves. I definitely feel like puff sleeves have been a recurring feature this week and I'm just so happy that a feature like this has made its way back into fashion, into like mainstream trends. I think we can sort of thank Bridgerton and things like that um, for making this kind of desirable again because I just feel like this romantic feminine style hasn't been particularly on trend um, for a while. So yeah, I really, really love this Cinderella inspired dress and I just know that you guys will tell me off if I mention Cinderella and don't actually get Cinderella to say hello. So just give me one sec. <laughs> She's gonna hate me because she was napping. She was napping just right by the camera. She just always has to be in the same room as me. Look at this angel. She's literally my best friend, aren't you? Aren't we best friends? <laughs> say hello to everyone, everyone loves you. Okay, I'll put you back, I'm sorry. Well, we now have a very grumpy Cinderella, um, so let's move on to the next look. So next we have this absolutely gorgeous outfit, which I just think is actually the perfect wearable outfit for spring. Sometimes I get a little bit carried away with the fact that it's not winter and I can kind of go for things that are more geared towards summer or at least a very warm spring. But this I feel like is a really realistic thing that you can actually wear in like a British springtime. So you may recognize the skirt. This was featured in my video a couple of weeks ago when I did outfits that you can wear for spring when it's actually kind of cold. And I just had to feature it again in today's haul because I just love the skirt so much. And like I said, I just think it's actually super wearable and perfect for this time of year. It's basically a little like wool boucle skirt in these really lovely like pinky tones. So you kind of have like the spring vibe with the nice pastel color, but it is actually quite a cozy skirt. Another thing that really struck me about this skirt and um, when I tried it on last time and now is how comfortable it is because I have a couple of skirts like this kind of shape from And Other Stories and I don't really wear like especially one of them because it just isn't very comfortable. It's very, very stiff, but this is so nice. It kind of has like an elasticated waistband. So it's really, really stretchy and comfortable. And then on top, I'm wearing this absolutely adorable little like cardigan top. It's kind of like a little wrap over style. It's got like a little asymmetric thing going on, which I think looks really cool. It just makes it a bit different because I'm not like super into cardigans, but I definitely felt like this one had a little more about it just with the cool style. And I like the way the cuffs are quite exaggerated as well. It's very, very cozy. It's like a really nice kind of fluffy knit. So again, it would just be really perfect for this time of year when it's spring and we're just like so done with winter. Like I don't know about you guys, but I am not going back. I don't care if I'm freezing. I'm not wearing my winter wardrobe now until at least October. Okay, I just realized that we hadn't actually used the coach bag in this video yet, which is obviously illegal. Um, look how cute that looks. This is just a super fun look. I would wear my little um, ankle boots, my cream lace up ankle boots. And this is just such an adorable outfit. I love it. I also got this really, really fab jacket, which I thought that I would pair um, with this outfit because I think the colors go really nicely together. Now, some of my eagle-eyed followers will know that I do actually have a very similar jacket to this from And Other Stories. This is clearly the more like updated version. I got mine in 2019, um, so three years ago, and it's just so nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this one is nicer because this one is a much better color. It's more of like a white, whereas mine is kind of slightly more on the yellow side. I just love it. I think it's so stylish and chic and it's a little bit different. Like I don't feel like you see people wearing this kind of jacket a lot. Um, it kind of has a retro vibe. It's so simple, but I just think it looks so, so stylish. And I think this is one of those pieces that you'd have in your wardrobe for such a long time, because again, it's not trendy. This is very classic. I think it's the kind of thing that you would like keep until it turned vintage and then say this is my vintage and other stories jacket in like 30 years time. I really, really love this and I'm trying to think of a way to justify keeping it even though I have another one that's really similar. I just prefer this. It goes color wise with more. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I just love everything about this whole look. <laughs> Next up, we have a little preppy 
Gossip Girl vibe going on, which you guys know I love. It's one of my favorite, favorite styles. And I love this dress so much. I honestly think it's pretty much perfect. The only thing I would say is honestly, I think this should have been a play suit and not a dress. I just think it would have felt so comfortable and it would not have affected like the shape of it at all. If anything, it may have just accentuated it even more. Um, but it is really, really gorgeous. The fabric is amazing. It's just so thick um, and it's nice and lined and gorgeous buttons and so nicely fitted. Like I know I go on all the time, but you really can feel the difference um, with and other stories, which is why it's one of my favorite, favorite brands. And I'm just loving this dress so much. It just feels so good on your body and I just love the style. And to be fair guys, you could actually wear this in autumn, winter too. It's not like super, super spring-like. I think it works really well for both, which makes it a good outfit for this like transitional period we're in, um, in the season. I just love the colors in the check. It's pink, white, brown, and black. And I just think it works so, so well. Let's just go with the coach bag, make it feel very New York. Oh my God, I really, really love this. It's just, designed really, really well. I love the waist belt. It's so flattering. I love the sleeve length as well. You know, in every detail is just really working. Um, I'm loving this so much. And again, like everything else, I know I'm a stuck record, but this is not like a trendy piece. This is such a classic, something you can have in your wardrobe for so, so many years. Um, and really good because you can actually double this up in the season. So I think this would actually be a very, very good purchase. Um, I'm definitely very, very tempted to keep this purely actually for how good it feels on, like let alone how it looks. It feels amazing. It's just so nicely fitted, so comfortable, feels like really nice quality and it looks fabulous too. Definitely full marks for this one. <laughs> So guys, next, I thought I would try something a little bit different as I often do. And I actually think I'm warming to these by the second. As soon as I put them on, I was like, what the actual bonkers hell. I don't actually hate them as much as I thought I did. Um, I'll just scoot back here so you guys can see the length. Um, so they're like a straight leg jean, um, but they're so soft and comfortable. They're not really like denim. They just feel like more cotton, like twill. Um, they don't really feel like denim at all. They're really, really soft and comfortable because I personally just like hate jeans. I hate how they feel. They're stiff, they're rough. They just don't feel nice on your body, but these feel so, so good. And just look how beautifully snug they are around the waist. They're just fitted so, so well. They feel amazing, which I think is what is warming me towards them. Um, the pattern is actually really beautiful. It's a gorgeous blue floral pattern. Um, and if I saw someone wearing these trousers, I would honestly be like, wow, your trousers are beautiful. But I just don't really feel like they're very me. They're a bit more countryside-y. Um, and yeah, they're just not really my style. I would honestly love, I might actually check to see if they had these just in like a plain white or like more of a block color because I struggle with jeans and trousers um, to find something that I like. But these are really, really nice. I love the belt. I just, I like how they feel. I always do a little jiggle when I like how the clothes feel. So the top is absolutely stunning. Um, you may have just noticed I had it like, um, tucked under a little bit, just because I felt like with these trousers, you kind of needed that little flash of skin just to kind of make the look um, still feel young and not too like mumsical. Um, but the top is so, so pretty. It would work really well to tuck in as well. So any like high waist bottoms, it's not a crop top, which my preference would be for it to be a little bit cropped, but this does work um, having it tucked in and it's just so adorable. The fabric is stunning. It feels so, so nice. And it's just got all of the details that we've been talking about this week, the puff sleeves, the sweetheart neckline. It's so flattering and feminine and beautiful. And it's just a really, really nicely made top. It's such a classic. I know I go on and say the same thing over and over again, but you could just wear this top with literally every spring, summer bottom you can think of, trousers, jeans, shorts, skirts, it will just look perfect with everything and it's such a classic. Guys, this is the perfect spring summer top. And what can I say? I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by the trousers. I may actually edit this video back and be like, Freddie, what are you talking about? They look horrendous. But from what I can see now, 
I think they look really cool. So we've got a little trio of dresses to finish off the video with, starting with this absolute classic. Guys, I am such a sucker for a little white dress. According to my fashion rules, it is not the LBD you need in your life, it's the LWD. And no one does the little white dress better than and other stories. This is just perfection. And it's the very, very, very last thing that I need in my wardrobe, but I'm still just so incredibly tempted by it because every single detail is just beautiful. Um, side note, I know I should have steamed it. Oh my God, just look at the sleeves. The sleeves are a dream come true. This is one of my favorite kind of sleeves. It has the puff, but it's not exaggerated, it's subtle. And then it's like cuffed in nicely. So you just get this really beautiful shape on the shoulders. It's so flattering. And then it comes in at the waist. It's actually elasticated around the waist as well. So it's super duper comfortable. And then you have the little like tiered skirt, which is just nice and flowy. And just the fabric is so nice. It's it feels so good on your body, it's so comfortable, it's so simple, it's like the picture of simplicity, but how just perfect does it look? So guys, the final look for today's haul is this absolutely gorgeous dress. Again, this is not like an obvious choice for me because I don't typically go for the midi dress or the maxi dress, um, but I just could not not order this and try this on and I'm so glad I did because it's absolutely beautiful like just look how it fits it fits like an absolute dream it's so flattering it's so comfortable and I just feel so lovely in this dress um which I'm really surprised about because I wasn't necessarily expecting to the dress kind of reminded me of reformation and even though and other stories isn't cheap it's cheaper than reformation and this is so so pretty the pattern is really lovely it's just little white like daisies on this beautiful like sky blue background. You've got the lovely sweetheart neckline with the ruching, the beautiful little puff sleeves. It's just so simple but so effective and I just really feel the need to grab a bag. It's just really giving me either Prada basket bag vibes or my D&G crochet Sicily. It just really lends itself to this kind of like I guess cottagecore type style um, but it's like cottagecore meets city I think. I think this really passes like a city girl look with some white like strappy sandals, some heels really kind of glam it up a little bit. I really really love this dress. I just love also how flattering it is on my body it's so comfortable um and yeah I also really like the slit in the dress because for me I think that makes me feel a bit more like me wearing it because I think if this was just all long I'd be a bit like mm, it would just be cuter if it was like a bit shorter I like to show a bit of leg what can I say so guys that does bring us to the end of another haul can you believe we are over halfway now through haul week I really hope you guys are enjoying it and as always I need to know which your favorite pieces were from this haul and if you ordered anything so do let me know down below in the comments thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow bye